Kenya has some of the nicest mansions in all of Africa. Ones ripe with as many amenities as they have controversies. William Ruto is the deputy president of Kenya with a net worth of $400 million. He has a house that might make you think that 400 mil is an underestimation. He has a sizable estate with cream walls, brown rooftops, and plenty of open space. Just look at how cool he looks sitting on in his front yard with all that excellence behind him. As far as amenities go, this house does not skimp at all. The property features six residents in total. The main house is located right behind the pinnacle of the home's decadence. The home has its own private artificial lake that's quite sizable. You can get a great view of it as you fly over towards his private airport. That's some next level spending right there. The problem with this home is that it made a lot of people wonder how he got hundreds of millions of dollars in the first place. Corruption charges came flooding in along with all sorts of rumors about his shady private life. This all culminated into an armed attack at this very home. There were reports of gunfire, an injured police officer, and even a guy with a machete. You'd think that if you had your own shady corruption issues, you wouldn't get your own lake. Private lakes really don't scream, I'm a responsible politician. Speaking of unlucky politicians, Rayla Odinga failed to land the top spot of President of Kenya five times after serving as its Prime Minister. You gotta respect him for not giving up after that fourth try. At least he has a gorgeous home as a consolation. The place has 74 rooms and can host around 200 people for giant stately gatherings. As far as amenities go, it has um all. A helipad, a private movie theater, a private pool, conference halls, and its own jacuzzi. The interior is certainly ostentatious as well, with gold on gold on gold color schemes throughout. This home is definitely on the pricey side. It is actually worth over a billion in Kenyan currency, but in USD it is worth approximately 8.3 million dollars. While his political career may not have gone all the places he wanted it to, he still has this enormous mansion and his sizable fortune of 50 million dollars to keep those spirits up. That certainly takes the sting out of losing an election. Yeah, so it goes without saying that this guy also has corruption allegations against him as well. He was literally selling fake gold because he evidently couldn't find a scam more on the nose than that. Manu Chandaria is a Kenyan businessman who is still kicking after 93 years of philanthropy and success. He has an estimated wealth of 1.7 billion as one of Kenya's most prolific industrialists. He has a six bedroom multi-million dollar mansion that looks very appropriate for a man of his renown. It is a lush, gorgeous space covered in greenery and gardens on all sides. It also has advanced security systems you can see by looking at the blocked off windows. Not that even that's been enough. His house was actually burgled by a pretty serious group of thieves. Evidently they tampered with the security system and likely even had an inside man with the police and the staff covering the home. This wasn't some late night random break in, but a full operation to nab money and jewelry from the safe at gunpoint. Even when you have a high tech security system and bars on the windows, it isn't always enough. Back when Daniel Moy was president of Kenya, he certainly knew how to live in style. That was really helped by his huge net worth of $3 billion, which was even more impressive in that region than it is other areas of the world. It is not a country well known for being ripe with billionaires left and right. His Cabernet Garden home was definitely a modern palace. It featured several stories, a pool, and some of the nicest living spaces in the entire country. No wonder he decided to retire here after his political career finally came to an end. Eventually, Moy passed away in 2020, and it was time for his retirement home to move on to the next generation of buyer. Now the home has been purchased by business mogul 
Elena Kuani for several million dollars. She then outfitted it with a minimalist interior design philosophy. Something tells me Moy didn't do anything minimalist when he was alive. Currently, the cashmere clothing queen has a net worth that barely compares to Moy's. There's still time for that to change though. Who knows, maybe some of Moy's luck will rub off on her. All of these homes are just shining a light on the growing trend of super mansions being built in Kenya. In fact, the country has been getting a lot of attention for several homes that seem strangely decadent for the area. For instance, we have a look at the most expensive home on the market in all of Kenya. It is a thoroughly modern estate with a white boxy design that looks very in keeping with many modern architectural trends for giant expensive mansions all over the world, particularly in the West. You know, that Apple Store aesthetic that's so hot right now. Combine that with the huge, spacious windows that shower each and every room in a ton of natural light, and you have the perfect picture of what modern, expensive homes are like in the early 2020s. Inside is all open space, huge staircases, hard floors, and modern class in every inch of the place. So, how expensive is the most expensive home on the market in all of Kenya? Well, this home is valued at around $5 million. This estimate seems high for many who have observed the home. Evidently, homes like these in areas like Nairobi are skyrocketing in value. In fact, another home built by the same company has a similar price tag but a unique security system. It's another sizable estate with an interesting shape, tons of natural light, and plenty of amenities. This one even includes a library with a slideable wall to connect it to the living room. This one is also worth a sizable chunk, coming pretty close to $5 million as well. Evidently, burglaries are pretty high in Nairobi, as we've definitely seen so far. So the architects had a unique idea with this one. They actually built the pool all around the standard points of entry for burglars. So not only are the pools in this house beautiful to look at, and I'm sure very cool to dive into, they also act as makeshift modern moats. Because nothing about high-end Nairobi architecture is subtle in the least. While Kenya may be building giant mansions left and right, experts are more impressed with the growth rates of African nations like Ghana, Morocco, and Tanzania. 